Subaru and Honda, two automakers currently turning out a string of great vehicles right now. Today though, we're going to focus on the specific models where car buyer money is most likely to flow. The Subaru Forester and the Honda CRV. It's a compact crossover showdown. It might seem like the Forester has the edge here since it was more recently redesigned, but you can never count out a Honda, especially when there's a new hybrid CRV being offered starting with the 2020 model year. Let's take a look at, well, how they look, first of all. Both the CRV and Forester are relatively conservative, considering we're in an era of sharp creases and over the top styling touches. Of the two, the Forester has a bit more of that and an overall slightly more aggressive look. By contrast, the CRV could almost be considered sleek next to the Forester, which adheres to a more traditional boxy CUV style. The CRV is a little bit wider, while the Forester is a little bit taller. On the inside, there's nothing revolutionary to note. Each cabin space is relatively simple, but Subaru does offer some style upgrades if you jump up the trim walk a little bit. In fact, the top level Forester Touring is fitted with brown leather on the seats. For Honda, the only attempt at any premium notions in the cabin comes from wood accents on upper CRV trims. But Honda does take the edge with regards to interior space. The CRV has an inch more legroom and four more cubic feet of cargo space. That's with the second row stowed in place. Fold that row down and both deliver 76 cubic feet of cargo room. Both the CRV and the Forester offer Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard items. Each one also offers an optional power tailgate, but the CRV has a nifty trick which lets you open it by using your foot, should your hands be full. Let's talk power. Both Honda and Subaru keep things simple here, with each offering a turbocharged four-cylinder engine. On the Honda, this is a one and a half liter unit that produces 190 horsepower and 175 pound-feet of torque. It uses a CVT to send power to the wheels, and Honda lets you choose between front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive models. Subaru employs a 2.5 liter engine. It makes 182 horsepower and 176 pound-feet of torque. This one is also paired with a CVT, but all-wheel drive is standard. This is a Subaru we're talking about after all. In terms of efficiency, these two are pretty evenly matched. The CRV is rated to return 27 miles per gallon in the city, 32 miles per gallon on the highway, and 29 miles per gallon in combined driving. The Forester will do 26 city, 33 highway, and 29 combined. Of course, there is that hybrid option on the CRV. That one gets more power thanks to a two liter four cylinder engine paired with an electric motor and battery, and we expect it to deliver 40 miles per gallon in combined driving. These two are incredibly evenly matched. In fact, both of them start around $26,000 and run up to about $35,000. That means it comes down to a battle of brand loyalty and perceived image. The Forester is prepped for duty for those looking to go off on an adventure. The CRV is a bit more inconspicuous, but only just. Either one would make a great option in your driveway. It's just about the sort of personal image you're going for. 